What's poppin' T Squad? You're watching today with Trey. You're so rusty. I know, right? <laughs> What's poppin' T Squad? Hey, did you guys hey. miss us? <laughs> of course you did, but yeah, guys, we have a huge announcement. We got our winter boots. We got our winter <laughs> boots. Hey. That's not really an exciting announcement. <laughs> it's exciting because now we can go outside in the snow and yeah. not get slush all over. True. I still need a winter jacket, but this one's been holding me down for now. He acts like he doesn't need a winter jacket. He's like, hey, I'll be fine with what I have, but you know, when you have Let's a hard-headed man, you just let them do what they think until they start to feel the minus 20 weather. So yeah, guys, uh, yeah, let's go have a fun day. Lego. All right, T-Squad, we have a very, very urgent alert right now. I just got a message from my good friend on Instagram, Ashley, that Markville Mall has Hatchimals. <laughs> we need to get there right now. We were just at an internet cafe printing off some paperwork. And, like, I'm like, yo, we need to go there right now. Like, let's go. Like, you know you're yelling, right? <laughs> I, of course I'm yelling. I She's need to so get Hatchimals. Excited. This is the last thing on my Christmas list. She's been looking for them forever. Go, so. beat this guy, beat this guy. Hurry, go, 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 win, win, win. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to promote crazy driving, but I am promoting beating every single light and getting us there like in the next 10 minutes. Like, if we get there and it's sold out, then it wasn't meant to be. Like, so. the Hatchimals craze is like crazy. And I don't know if I told you guys before. We were at Toys R Us like two months ago and there was like a big pile of them. And I'm like, oh look, I seen like some YouTube kids reviewing these toys. I'm like, we should do it for our kids channel. He's like, eh, no, nah, let's just wait till like Christmas time or whatever. And now everyone's reselling them for like 200 plus dollars. They're sold out everywhere. Everywhere. Every Apparently, single time they get them, they sell they out. Sell off. So guys, wish me luck right now. If you guys see me breaking down in tears on the ground like a kid, it's because I didn't get any. <sighs> Gotta wait in this line. Hopefully there's some left. <sighs> we'll see. So we actually got the hatch wolves. It was one per customer, but <sighs> Honestly, now like I'm done shopping. I'm look at, done. Look at this face. I'm done. Look Yo, how I'm happy she is. With these too. Are you crazy? Yo, Bro. they raised the price, eh? Yeah, because they know the, the thirst is real for them. But yo, that's a happy face right there. Keisha's ecstatic right now. I'm happy that she can yo, stop crying about it now too. I don't need food for the rest of the month. <laughs> so happy right now. Super, super, super happy. Kids are gonna be happy. I'm gonna play with their toys. Mr. Trey, on the other hand, got valet parking. <laughs> Because they said one per customer. I'm like, you need to get in here right now and buy a Hatchimal with me. I'm like, hurry up, hurry up. Park outside the, I'm like, park outside the, the doors, whatever you want to do. Oh man, so anybody that's watching this is probably going to be gone by now, but they were at Markville Mall at Toys R Us. Well, quick update, we're just handling a little bit of business. We're driving around, getting some errands done. Got my driver. Drive him on. <laughs> my chauffeur, baby. My chauffeur for the afternoon. Um, I think we have like two more stops to go and then we should be picking up the kids after that. So look who we got, T Squad. It's the little Eskimo, Cali. Camaro, I see you, bro. You trying to hide? <laughs> Come here, bro. <laughs> Anyways. We got Camaro too. What'd you drop? <laughs> Come on, guys. Come, Callie. Callie. Okay, bye. Bye, Callie. So, come on. Now she's gonna start crying like I'm actually leaving her, but she's the one running away. She? Come, Callie. <laughs> Camaro, you dropped your glove. Over here, Callie. Kelly, relax. Kelly gets super uptight if she doesn't get to press the button. What were you gonna say, Camaro? Uh, mommy always wants me to save her. To save her from what? Yeah. When, when, when you guys are fighting. She always wants you to. Side. She wants you to back her up when me and mommy are arguing. <laughs> you hear that, Camaro? Why are you baiting out the flex, guy? <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> bro, is that true though? 
So whose side do you take though? Mommies or daddies? Both. Both? He's so diplomatic. Always. Alright, so we're here. Keisha's cooking it up. What's on the menu, babe? What'd you say? Chicken fajitas, right? Mm. Chicken fajitas are being cooked. Camaro's gonna start his homework. Camaro, you don't look very enthusiastic about starting your homework. What's up? What's up? Daddy. Hold on one second, Callie. <laughs> I knew you were joking. Kids these days. Anyways, Camaro's about to start doing his homework. Keisha's cooking. I'm, I'm in such a good mood. Baby, are you in a good mood? I'm in a really good mood. This afternoon <laughs> was very, very successful. Uh, very productive day. Oh, I can't wait till you guys see what's in store for the new year. But You know, like, we have... There's so much exciting stuff going on, but this weekend, Christmas like, is this ah. weekend. Yo, when we said we were doing some business and running around today, something very exciting is happening. But you know, we can't we can't show you guys everything at once. We have to leave some stuff to anticipation. And all I can say is, these next few weeks, baby, are things going our way or are things going our way? So far, so good. So Especially far, so after good. I got that special thing today. <laughs> and guys, I don't mean that everything's a go. And we don't mean that in the least bit of like a cocky manner. You know how we are. Positivity. So if you guys want something in life, just be positive. Put the energy out there that you're going to get it. Believe you're going to get it. Believe you deserve it. And believe me, things start going your way when you adopt this type of a mind state. It's nothing wrong with like wanting the best for yourself and for your family. All right, so you guys know Callie goes to gymnastics every single Monday. And she is getting so good at her gymnastics. Right, Callie? Wow. You guys see how smooth her flip overs are now? They used to be like... You know, now they're good. So Callie's definitely progressing. Camaro thinks he's sick too. Hey, <laughs> you guys are sick. Callie wants to be like an actual gymnast. Callie, are you gonna do competitions? I'm going to your room. You gonna? No, no, no. My room needs to get cleaned. I clean your room. You'll clean it for me? Yeah. What? I clean it for you. You'll clean my room if you can do flipovers in there. Yeah. Keish, are you hearing this? Keish, huh? did you hear this? What? Callie said she'll clean our room if we let her do flipovers in there. <laughs> what do you think? Is that a good no, deal though? after dinner you guys can have a treat. Hmm? Is that a good deal? I'm not sure how good of a cleaning she'll do. <laughs> I think everything will end up on the floor. Alright. Let's see Callie. Watch out Camaro. Go, Kelly. Wow, that one was kind of crooked. Wait, Camaro's turn. Let's see yours, buddy. Not yet? That wasn't it? Babe, can you help me put the stuff in the dishwasher? Whoa. Okay. All right, let's see yours, Camaro. Hey. <laughs> Yo, guys, I'm in the kitchen right now. I'm going to call them in here and scare them. Camaro, Cali. Boo! <laughs> Aww. You got scared, Cali. <laughs> you got scared. You got scared. Scared my baby. Cali, you always do that to me. You got scared, princess. Camaro, you were scared too, I was in your face. <laughs> you guys got scared. This is a brush arts. Huh? It's brush arts. Oh, you want to do your calendar? I'll look at my After calendar. Dinner. After dinner, guys. Mommy's right. It's dinner time in a few minutes. Callie, do you want to do my hair? Because my hair is looking crazy. You want to do my hair? Yeah. Okay, get some stuff and do my hair. Get the comb or something. I see. Yeah, so my hair, guys, is, is in the faster? worst. Uh, what do you call it? In between stage. It's in between getting nice and long and having a man bun. So right now it's just all over the place. That's why I'm wearing hats like every single day. 
But yeah, a few more months and I'll be there. Santa Claus is coming to town. He knows when you're asleep. Mm. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you're up. Careful listening. But watch out. Ben up out. Ben up out. I'm telling you why. Santa's Claus is coming to town. All right, so Callie and Camaro made an awesome gingerbread house. There's gonna be a video on the kids' channel for it. But ever since they made it, they've been asking me and Keish every single day, can we eat it, can we eat it, can we eat it? We were trying to save it as long as we could because it's like a super dope, Christmas decoration for the house, but we're gonna let them eat it before it gets stale. Are you guys ready to eat your gingerbread yeah, house? Yeah! All right, go Dirty ahead. Mouth. Try not to make a huge mess. Dirty mouth. Try not to make a huge mess. Mm. You guys are just gonna pick at it, or are you gonna actually eat it? You guys are just picking off the candy. Let no. me get one. <laughs> All right, and. In our overwhelmingly cluttered den slash storage. No, you know what? This den was clear like three days ago. All of a sudden again. <sighs> Christmas presents. Aside from this, which is recycled, this is like all Christmas presents. But yeah, anyways, Keisha's in here wrapping away. I'm in here wrapping, you know. Yo, I have to give some credit to Keisha though, guys. She has been Christmas spirit Keisha. She's been Christmas shopping every day, making sure everyone on our list is getting the best gifts. She might have taken it a little bit overboard, like she's literally been Christmas shopping every single day. Not but you know what? Day. You know what? Babe? I didn't shop today. Today was, okay. Oh, actually, actually you mine. did. <laughs> this whole vlog is about you getting Hatchimals, but you didn't shop today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, guys? Oh, man. She's not even thinking about herself. She's shopping for everyone that we know, basically. Everyone's kids, everyone that's on our list. So, shouts out to Keish. She's not shopping for herself, Camaro. She's been the shopping for everyone. The only thing I everyone. bought for myself was three shirts from Pink. I got this shirt, a sweater, and then another shirt. That's all I bought for myself. Well, like, since you did Christmas shopping, period. Yeah, yeah, I haven't gotten myself anything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, she's she's wrapping away. Keisha is making sure Christmas is amazing for everyone in our life. So you gotta respect no, that. You gotta I was love that. To have this done ready to record videos again. It was literally ready once, and then after that, I missed the opportunity, and it got cluttered again. Yeah, but we will not be having that problem for too much longer. So yeah. Anyways, that's what we're up to. Um, kids have to go to bed soon. Yo, one other thing that's on my mind too that me and Keisha were just talking about. This year in Toronto, the school board is hardly giving the kids any time before Christmas. I, th Christmas I honestly thought Camaro was going to have this whole week off. That's what I thought too. So Christmas Day, as you guys know, is on the 25th, which is Sunday this year. The kids are supposed to go to school. Well, not Callie. Callie's just in daycare so we can take her out whenever. But Camaro is supposed to be in school until up Friday. until Friday on the 23rd, two days before Christmas. And like, I'm all about education, but I feel like that's too close. They should have give them like, I don't know, a week before Christmas yeah, or at least like, like three days, four days maybe. I remember being out of school at least like three or four days yeah. before Christmas came. I swear it was like the 21st or the 22nd. He literally has Christmas Eve, the day before Christmas to be off of school. I don't think that that's fair. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. We'll make the best of it. But yeah, guys, total Christmas vibes. Kids got to go to bed soon. Come here, how's it coming eating it? Good. <laughs> you munching at it? <laughs> mm. Be careful. Don't like mush up your teeth or nothing. Not. You know what? You don't want that part, Kelly? Mm. Do you want him to pick off the candy for you? Look, do you want this one? No. No, you don't want nothing? Um, you want you want this one right here? Yeah. There you go. 